If you've been using 11 Labs for text-to-speech like I've been doing, you're going to want to hear this. So a new tool just dropped and this tool is called Minimax and it is a game changer. It is cheaper and it is a game changer. You can use it for free. It comes with over 3000 voices. The voice cloning sounds professional, keeping the natural tone and accent for creators like it for creators like us running faceless channels voice quality is everything and if i can get the same pro result without spending a dime i'm definitely interested in this video i'll be showing you three things Number one is how to pick the best voices for your project. Number two is how to turn simple text into high quality voiceover. The last one is how to clone your own voice, just like I'm doing right now. If this is something you want to try out, click on the link in the description and you're going to get a free account with 10,000 credits. You also need to get three free voice cloning slots if at all you want to go for the paid plan, it is 25% cheaper than any other option. So once you click on the link in the description of this video, it is going to take you to this interface. On the left hand side, you're going to see the voice library, the text to speech, music, voice design, voice clone and voice isolator. So we're going to start by reviewing the voices in the library. Click on voice library. So over here you're going to see a list of voices that you can use. You can also filter these voices based on accent. So if you want a US accent, if you want an Australia, British or Indian accent, you can do it here. You can also filter the voices based on any gender at all and you can also filter it based on age so once you see the voice that you like you can just click on it to add to your collected voices so let me quickly show you the voices that I have collected once you click on collected voices you're going to see voices that you've already selected and tested out so these are a few of my voices let me just quickly play it so you hear how it sounds remember life will test you but it will never break you if you hold on to what you know to be true. We've taken AI-generated English speech to a whole new level. Pacing, emphasis, tone, it doesn't just speak, it expresses. There's something lovely in the quiet bits. The soft breeze dancing. Now you can see that the three voices sounds really good and I mostly like the last one. This sounds good, especially if you create faceless content like I do, this is something that you can try out and use as much as you can for your video. So now how do you actually use these voices to create text to speech? That is your voiceover for videos. So just go over to the left hand side and you're going to see the text to speech. So over here at this interface you can paste your script. So I'm going to be adding this prompt into the prompt section. So this is just basically a short story that I generated. For this tutorial, I'm going to be using their latest model, which is the Speech 2.5 HD Preview. So make sure that it is on Speech 2.5 HD Review. Once that is done, once you're done, go over to this part that has voices and do well to select the voice. So make sure the selected voices is active in there. I'm going to be going with this trustworthy man, which I have collected before. So once you're sure that it is there, you can go ahead to adjust voice modifier, emotions and speed. So I'm going to go ahead to generate the voices first. So you see how it sound before we go ahead to make any tweaks and then check it out. So just go ahead to hit on generate. So it is done generating. Let us see how it sounds. Late one night, a man was driving home on an empty road when his phone rang. The screen said, Mom. He answered, but all he heard was heavy breathing. Then faintly a whisper, don't come home. Confused, he hung up and immediately called his mother back. This time she answered cheerfully. Hi, sweetie. Just checking if you're on your way drive safe. Shaken, he didn't mention the strange call. 
you can see how amazing this sounds so we can actually enhance this voice better by using the voice modifier one thing i like about this model is that you can make the voice lighter or deeper depending on what you're going for one of the beautiful thing about this model is that you can go for the deeper tone if it is for a documentary and, and you can use other tones for any other projects that you're going for and over here you can also find the emotions and if you check out the emotions you're gonna see different emotions like happy sad angry fearful disgusted surprised and neutral so you can pick whatever emotions you want your voice to display so i'm gonna be leaving this on neutral so once that is done you can also adjust the speed and the pitch to whatever it is that you're comfortable with now for this tutorial i'm going to keep them as they are and then just dipping the voice a bit so let's regenerate and see how it sounds like a man was driving home on an empty road when his phone rang the screen said mom he answered but all he heard was heavy breathing then faintly a whisper don't come home confused he hung up and immediately called his mother back you can see how amazing this sounds one thing you need to note when it comes to settings is not to stray far from the default settings otherwise you might really get what you would not enjoy so now that we've tested the text to speech using the speech 2.5 hd model let me show you how to create a custom voice in case you do not find what you're looking for on the voice library so just go over to the left hand menu and click on voice design you can type in a prompt describing how you want your avatar to sound like so i'm going to be using classic narrator which is good for storytelling as you can see it then it's generated a detailed prompt of the voice and is that use the prompt generators here or write your own and this text over here is going to be previewed when you generate the voice so let's quickly generate and see what it sounds like so our voice is done generating and it gave us three results we're going to be listening to the three voices and know which one to go for so let's start with voice one in a world teetering on the brink of chaos one man dared to stand against the tide. This is his story, a tale of courage, betrayal, and the enduring power of the human spirit. So let's try out voice two to know what it sounds like. In a world teetering on the brink of chaos, one man dared to stand against the tide. This is his story, a tale of courage, betrayal, and the enduring power of the human spirit. So let's go over to voice three. In a world teetering on the brink of chaos, one man dared to stand against the tide. So after listening to all this, I think I'm going to be going with voice three. Just click on it and click on select voice. So once you do, just put in your voice name, label it and select the language. And once you click on save voice, it will be saved to your collections. So the next one we're going to be trying out is voice cloning and this is the feature I like most on Minimax. Voice cloning allows you to clone your own voice as little as a 30 seconds clip. And the beautiful thing about it is that it preserves the richness of your tone. So once you go back to the left hand menu and click on voice clone, you can either record a voice that is 10 to 60 seconds long or upload a recording or a file from your device or your phone so i'm going to be using these features which is to record the audio so i've just recorded my voice and it has been uploaded here so once you've done that you can decide to remove background noises and enable ascent optimization to enable ascent optimization just simply click on it and you will have to upload another sample with the same accent so you can decide to either upload audio or record an audio so for now i'm going to just leave this off so once you've done this the next thing you need to do is to click over at this part to confirm and once that is done just go ahead and hit on generate so once it is done generating simply go ahead and click on confirm once you click on confirm go ahead to name it select your gender and you can add a short description if you want once that is done go ahead and click on save the voices it is going to be saved on my voices 
So I'm gonna go over to the voice library to show you what it sounds like. So this is what I just saved here. Let's click on it to hear what it sounds like. Hello, I'm delighted to assist you with our voice services. Choose a voice that resonates with you and let's begin our creative audio journey together. You can hear from this that it sounds exactly like me. There is no issues at all and it sounds as natural as I would sound if I were using my real voice. And for this tutorial, this is the voice that I am currently using. So let's try using this voice I just generated in text to speech. So I'm just going to go ahead to text to speech. I already have my prompt in there. What I just need to do is just come over to voice to select the voice. So once you click on use, it is going to be added over here. Once you, what you just need to do is just go ahead and hit generate and let's see what it sounds like. Bobby was driving home on an empty road when his phone rang. The screen said, Mom? He answered, but all he heard was heavy breathing. Then, faintly, a whisper, Don't come home. Confused, he hung up and immediately called his mother back. This time, she answered cheerfully, Hi, sweetie, just checking if you're on your way. Drive safe. Shake it. Isn't this amazing? You can see how it's followed through on the script using my voice. So this is something that you can try out for your faceless YouTube content. So let's quickly go ahead and try out their music features. When you click on it, you would see that it currently supports just one model. So what this does is to turn whatever ideas that you have into a beautiful sonic masterpiece. So you can create instrumentals, you can create music from this part. Now this features also allows you to generate up, up to four minutes music. So you have two options. The first one is simple where you type in the description of the kind of song you want and advanced where you can paste in your own lyric. Let's try the simple option and type in scary song. As you click on create, this is what you should get. So this is a song. Let's play it and hear what it sounds like. Silence screams in the dead of night A whisper crawls upon my skin So this is amazing. You can actually play around this and test out different parts of this. Test out different prompts to get different results that you want. Once you're satisfied with what you want, you can just go ahead to click on download to download it. If you're using the free plan, as a new user, you, you get a bonus of 10,000 credits and you can also generate speech in 40 languages in multiple accents use, using tones of unique voices. You have limited time free, which helps you generate speech with specific emotions and language. You can clone up to three voices with as little as 10 seconds of audio but if you want to go further you can start with your starter pack which is four dollar a month and this is very cheap compared to a lot of voice editor out there this gives you 100 credits per month and two hours of high quality hd model you also get a bonus of 10,000 credits 12 minutes audio that is also non-cumulative this would give you access to everything in free plus faster speed of generating speech. You also get to generate speech with specific emotions and language. You can clone up to 10 voices with as little as 10 seconds of video. Also upgrading to this part would give you license to use Minimax Audio for commercial use. You can decide to upgrade further to the creator which is $12 per month. And if you go through it, you can see that this is amazing. And it is 25% cheaper than any voice model you're going to see out there. So let me know if this is something that you like and if you'll be trying this out in the comment section. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.